I'm here at the Talis booth at Dubai Air Show 2019, here to talk about the passenger experience. Now, I speak personally, Jerry, thank you very much for joining us, by the way. Uh, I speak from a personal point of view. Uh, you know, I have observed how much my experience of uh, watching content on screens at home has changed over the last three or four years. I've got a 4K TV set. I've got uh, HDR. I've got streaming video on demand from goodness knows how many service providers. But my expectation of that in a car on an aeroplane is, uh, I'm expecting this content to be everywhere. That's a challenge for, uh, for airlines and also for those service providers like your good self. So tell me what you are doing at Talos to try and meet my expectations wherever I happen to be going in the world. Sure, so we've invested a lot in actually the 4K technology you talked about already. We know that the picture quality itself is gonna be a big part of the driver. We're going to HDR next. We'll be the first to bring that to, to the market, uh, which will change the experience with, with a factor of, of, of much higher factor. Uh, we're also uh, addressing things that you use in your personal life, like Bluetooth. So we're adding Bluetooth up to the, so you can bring your own headsets on board the aircraft. Yes, please. I, again, f flying over here to Dubai, I so wanted to use my Bluetooth headphones to watch the content on the screen, and I couldn't. It was so frustrating. This. Uh, I need this technology now, please. You do need it. <laughs> you do need it now. But it's not just that we have 4K. We're actually thinking about other things that happen in the cabinet that don't happen at home, which is a lot more glare, a lot more light. So we're adding new reflectivity so that we can reduce the reflectivity that's in the cabin, which is annoying right now. Yeah. Um, so we're also interacting, um, putting our monitors to interact with your personal devices yeah. so that you can personalize the experience. So you can log yourself in and then you don't have to have the same screen and the same experience as everybody else on board the aircraft. So this allows you to, if you were watching a film before and you connect it to another flight, it will remember what you were watching and let, have you pick back up where you left off. Yeah. Uh, so this is a really a, a much better experience and it, that keeps you from having to spend a lot of time finding your way through the system. And suggestions, recommendations, that's another area, uh, again, in our off-plane lives, increasingly service providers are trying to suggest stuff based upon stuff that we've already bought or already watched. And that's something that you're bringing in here by the sounds of it as well. Absolutely. And we're doing that for the, the passenger experience, but we're also doing that because airlines care about increasing the revenue, ancillary revenue. And if we can do recommendations and make something relevant for you, you're more likely to choose that and therefore purchase that device or that, that product on board the aircraft. And that's much better for the airline and increases the revenue and it's better for the passenger. So is there a trade-off then for the carriers? You know, when you're looking at large screen, high-tech installations, is, is weight the trade-off there or is this good for carriers as well? So it used to be a trade-off where you say, I need, a, I need a bigger screen, it's a premium experience, it costs more, it, have, it costs more fuel to, to carry this around, but we're actually introducing a higher quality screen. At the same time, we're reducing the, the weight of the equipment. So we, we're targeting 30% less weights. Yeah. Uh, we're in, uh, targeting a higher reliability, which is also important yeah. to airlines and, and passengers alike, and an easier way to maintain the system. So this time, we're, we're actually getting the best of both worlds for the passenger and the airline. Let's, uh, let's just move over here as we talk about uh, another area where we're seeing more innovations, uh, not only in our personal lives, but again, when we're in transit. And this is bringing the internet experience on board. Uh, tell me about the areas in which Talis is active here and what that ultimately means for passengers as well as carriers. Well, as you said before, you expect that your home experience on the aircraft, well, that means being connected to the internet as well. And so Talis has invested very heavily and works with partners to make sure that you're can have internet connection wherever you fly and the same experience uh, where the, wherever you are in the world. So we've invested heavily in, in um, technology on the aircraft to connect to satellites and not just for internet but also to provide live television. So this can be uh, having the ability to watch Wimbledon or World Cup when it happens um, yeah. at, at that point so you're not missing it just because you're in flight anymore. Um, so this is um, not only is it live television, we also have the easier ways to connect so you're not spending um, five minutes trying to get on the internet. It automatically connects for you. So we're thinking about the passenger experience first and what people really need on board the aircraft and investing in that. And so we do this in conjunction with our partner MRSAT and the Global Express Network. It's, it's a great story. Uh, I must admit to a frustration when I've tried to use online services, internet services on board flights, 
it's a bit like trying to use my broadband connection at home 15 years ago or so. What are the challenges and how are you helping to address that expectation that a customer has of full speed broadband when on board a plane? Right, well, so the first challenge is the fact that you're moving 500 miles an hour, you're hitting a satellite 23,000 miles away. But um, in the beginning, we were using multiple satellites, different providers, and so we had to connect and reconnect and you would experience that as a passenger. Yeah. Now with MRSAT, we're using one network provider. They have satellites that cover the globe. It's the same experience, so they're able to, to manage the connection where you as a passenger don't find the, 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 the drop-offs in, in the service anymore. Uh, we have the ability to make a connection before we break another one. Mm -hmm. And so therefore, once again, the experience is the same. And it's con we continue to add capacity in the space so that as you want to do more with the internet, that we were able to provide that. So we've really gone from the very beginning where it was an engineering project yep. to this is truly is a consumer grade experience. Jerry, I can't wait for this or for this, frankly. Um, thank you very much indeed for sharing that with us today on Dubai Airshow TV. Uh, look, forward to, look forward to jumping aboard and seeing some of this technology in action in the very near future. Great. My pleasure, thank you. Thank you.